What's up, everybody? So it's been recently suggested by the New York Post that the Knicks could be willing to trade Kevin Knox. According to Mark Berman, the writing is pretty much on the wall for Kevin Knox in New York. Knox didn't even play in the Knicks' recent loss to the Clippers, and he only logged in eight minutes in the win against the Cavaliers. As of right now, Thibodeau seems to be prioritizing the development of Obi Toppin and Alec Burks over Kevin Knox. This is quite a shame for Knox because earlier in the year, he was thriving. Not only was his defense much improved, but he became the best three-point shooter on the team, becoming pretty much automatic from three, especially from the corner. But recently, Kevin Knox has gone cold. In fact, in his last eight games, Kevin Knox is averaging just 2.6 points and 1.4 boards on just 23% shooting from the floor. He's really struggled, and as a result, Thibodeau has severely cut his minutes. I think part of Knox's struggles is the lack of diversity in his game. The only thing Kevin Knox really does on offense is hit open threes. He was good at them, but when the shot isn't falling, he's pretty much useless on the offensive end. Knox doesn't have any handles. He doesn't have any shot creation or playmaking abilities, so it's hard to justify giving Knox big minutes when his jumper isn't falling. To add insult to injury, the Post reported that one individual familiar with the coaching staff said Thibodeau still sets his bullock, topping, and Burks provide more energy than Knox has recently, though no data exists to back that up. At this point, it looks like Kevin Knox could be out the rotation, especially with Bullock recently back. The second unit seems set with Austin Rivers and Emmanuel Quigley in the backcourt, and then Alec Burks, Obi Toppin, and Nerlens Noel in the front court. So it appears that Kevin Knox is the odd man out. So with Knox playing poorly and now out the rotation, it makes sense that the Post would suggest that Kevin Knox could get traded. Fortunately, the Post did say that Kevin Knox does have some trade value. It was reported that OKC had interest in Kevin Knox in a potential Chris Paul trade. So what do the Knicks do with Kevin Knox? Well, I think if the Knicks want to maximize the value they get from Knox, they should trade him this season. If you wait till next year, the value you'll get for him will be pretty much nothing because teams will just look to sign him as a free agent since he will be in a contract year. That's part of the reason why the Knicks weren't able to trade Alonzo Trier. Because he was on an expiring contract, it was barely playing, nobody offered any value for him. So for the Knicks, this season will likely be the last time you could get value for Knox. Knox did show earlier in the year that he has potential to be a good player, but he's inconsistent. Of course, the Knicks could also hope that Knox could show that he could be a part of the Knicks' future. But right now, it seems like the coaches aren't prioritizing his development. So if you're the Knicks, you need to decide right now if you view Knox as a legit building block. If you view him as a draft bust and not someone who's a part of the future, trade him at the deadline and see what you can get for him. You probably won't get a lot, but you might land a second round pick or at the very least, a late first round pick. If you don't want to give up on Knox, you can hold on to hope that he might pan out. But if he doesn't pan out, you might end up just losing him for nothing. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. What should the Knicks do with Kevin Knox? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single upcoming video. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.